Good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining me for this WNCT Now digital news update. I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio. A former Louisville police officer is facing charges connected to the death of an unarmed black woman, but two other officers involved are not being charged. A judge today revealed a grand jury indictment in March, in the March shooting of 26-year-old Breonna Taylor. Officers entered her home on a no-knock warrant. Taylor's boyfriend, thinking criminals were breaking in, fired at police, hitting one officer. Three officers returned fire. Taylor was shot and killed in the exchange. The grand jury decided a detective... The grand jury decided a detective fired since the March shooting, Brett Hankinson, should face three counts of first-degree wanton endangerment. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron says there's no conclusive evidence bullets Hankinson fired hit Taylor. Instead, his charges are based on shots he fired outside the apartment that ended up in a neighboring unit. Hankinson could face up to five years in prison for each count. Attorney General, G General Cameron says the other two officers, Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly and Detective Miles Cosgrove, were justified in their use of force. Those two officers are currently on administrative leave. An FBI investigation into federal civil rights violations continues. People in Louisville are expressing frustration over the decision, saying grand jury and attorney general are not doing enough and justice is not being served. Louisville officials have enacted a citywide curfew beginning at 9 p.m. tonight. Many downtown streets have also been barricaded to limit traffic. One man is in critical condition after an explosion in his home in Duplin County. Investigators say the blast happened before noon in a mobile park home on Jackson Store Road near Corn Mill Road near Beulahville. The victim is treated, being treated at the North Carolina J.C.'s Burn Center in Chapel Hill. The victim told investigators he remembers lighting a cigarette before the explosion and nothing after that. There were 17 animals in the home at the time of the blast. Currently, 12 of them are with animal services. State and local teams are looking into the exact cause. Stay with us and we'll be right back with some more news after this short break. Tonight on your side, reporters are all across the East and in your neighborhood. In Tarboro. In Kinston. In Greenville. At Atlantic Beach. Covering local stories that impact you. The groundbreaking ceremony is the beginning of construction for Moorhead City's fourth city hall. People from all over the state of North Carolina gathered at the Sycamore Hill Missionary Baptist Church. The historic Turnage Theater in Washington helps the community celebrate art and culture. See their original reporting weekdays on 9 in Your Side News. Thanks for tuning in. If you're just joining me, I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio, providing you with some late afternoon updates. WNCT is bringing you live streamed updates every Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. to bring you the latest and up-to-date news before our nightly newscast. The Greenville Police Department is investigating a homicide at the Davis Apartments that left one person dead. Greenville police are investigating a deadly shooting at the Davis Apartments. It happened around 3.30 yesterday afternoon at the complex on East 10th Street. 20-year-old Tyan Williams of Greenville died last night from his injuries. Detectives believe he was shot inside the doorway of an apartment. They believe this was an insulated incident with several other people involved. Wayne County Public School teachers are in need of cleaning supplies. United Way of Wayne County, Wayne County Chamber of Com Commerce and Community Supporting Schools are working together to hold a cleaning supply drive. It will take place from September 28th through October 9th. Items, included, items needed include paper towels, disposable Dixie cups, cleaning rags, sanitizing wipes, and hand sanitizer. Donations can be dropped off at Southern Wayne High School, Charles B. Acock High School, and Goldsboro High School. Supplies will be distributed to all the schools for classroom distribution. Well, that wraps up this WNCT Now late afternoon update. We have more news coming up for you tonight on our broadcast at 5 and 6. Thanks so much for watching.